All right, everybody, welcome to our um, TeachChat webinar today. We are going to be going over improving shipping accuracy and fulfillment using TeachChat Scan Pack. Um, thanks again for attending, and we'll go ahead and get started right now. Um, our webinar today should be about 30 minutes um, in its entirety. We'll go through um, kind of the agenda here in a second. So first things first, I am Sam Bush. I'm the content manager at TeachChat. Um, I am going to be your proctor for um, all intensive purposes. Um, I will be kind of hosting today, talking a little bit right now about some of the um, things you need to know about asking questions and follow up and things like that. And then I'll also close up the webinar today with some of your questions. Um, so that being said, please, if you do have questions throughout the presentation today, utilize the question field in your GoToWebinar interface. Those questions will pop up to Mike and I, and we can uh, make sure they're asked at the end of the session and then follow up accordingly um, after as well. Um, so again, I'm Sam Bush, the content manager, and um, on the webinar today we have Mike Panici. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with him. He is our customer success manager, um, and he's going to be going through um, the agenda and then kicking us off today. Um, so Mike, I'll go ahead and let you introduce yourself. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Uh, and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Uh, to quickly introduce myself, uh, my name is Mike Panagi. For those of you uh, who have, I have not had the pleasure of speaking with, uh, I am the Customer Success Manager at PaceJet, um, so I will be running the portion, uh, the largest portion of this presentation today. Uh, my primary role, uh, for those of you not aware at PaceJet, is to ensure that our customer base is maximizing uh, their value and how PaceJet software uh, is actually used. So to run over the uh, agenda for today, um, we're going to go through a quick introduction uh, of PaceJet. Uh, we're going to define what ScanPack actually is, uh, why as a business uh, you would have the need for ScanPack. We're going to walk through three demonstration workflows uh, and then how to get signed up and started uh, with the ScanPack module and then what's up next uh, down the path from a product standpoint. Uh, in PaceJet. So uh, the science of shipping. So we at PaceJet uh, do look at shipping as a science and as many of you know uh, we at PaceJet pride ourselves with improving our customer shipping experience through agile innovation and a flexible software platform that we have created. Now our freight audit webinar earlier this month uh, actually touched upon the reporting side of our light bulb that you see on the screen here. Uh, today's ScanPack webinar is actually going, uh, going over functionality that directly uh, impacts the platform uh, side of this light bulb itself. So what is ScanPack? Let's, let's define that. So ScanPack, uh, simply put, is a process that allows a customer to scan items into boxes or on pallets to verify the contents of the shipment. And it allows a customer to scan container identifiers to capture dimensions, type, and weight. So let's talk about why you would actually need it as a, as a customer. Benefits. Um, with a scan pack, warehouse represent, uh, a scan pack warehouse representative will ship the right product and quantity uh, for every order by using ScanPack. Another benefit of ScanPack is that it provides packing speed and efficiency to a warehouse team. Uh, for those of you out there that experience packing errors uh, with warehouse representatives, uh, this module provides also audible feedback uh, that makes the user aware uh, to in turn avoid mistakes. And Along with that audible feedback, ScanPack also provides uh, stand-up displays uh, with red and green stop-and-go visuals. Uh, uh, for those out there who are more visual people, such as myself, uh, just another way to prevent uh, errors during the pack process. And finally, uh, through ScanPack's use, a customer will capture correct data to automate the reports, uh, labels, and shipping forms. So uh, before we hop into the demonstration workflows, 
I wanted to briefly provide a workflow chart to everyone so they can see how the process would work. So simply put, uh, you would start by opening the scan pack screen uh, from the PaceJet user interface uh, itself. Uh, you go ahead and scan the, the containers or pallets. And then you would go ahead and scan the items. Uh, and then you would have the ability to rate shop via scanning, uh, go through packing process itself. Uh, and then, of course, you would put the labels on the boxes and ship uh, uh, during, the, during the workflow itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the demo itself. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Again, three workflows we're going to start off with before I, I start showing these. Uh, we're going to walk through the actual workflow one, the process of scanning only without ever having to touch a keyboard uh, as a warehouse representative. Uh, then next workflow, we're going to go into grocery style scanning, which allows you to not only scan, but enter a quantity of items that you want to be scanned over uh, for scanning purposes. And then the third workflow we're going to walk through is the actual items that are self-packed. You can actually uh, self-pack items that are pre-packaged in their own containers already and scan those over. So let's dive right into it. So you can see that we are actually starting off at the shipping workbench screen in PaceJet. Keep in mind, you can start off on any screen that you would like. From uh, On this particular demo, we're going to go ahead and scan a hotkey to pull up the search. And then you as a customer would go ahead and scan your uh, sales order number, which would populate and take you directly into the order itself. You'll scan a scan pack barcode, which will pull up the scan pack module. We're going to go ahead and scan a container. And now you've got to scan the items into the container. So you're going to go ahead and scan those items. And as you can see, the screen just beeped at me and went red. For the, some of you might be able to hear it out there. I know my volume's about as high as it can go, but it, uh, it did beep at me because I tried scanning in more items that were allowed on the order. So that goes to our validation piece. So then I scan a barcode to actually close out the order and take you right back into the screen. Now this particular demo, we already have a carrier and ship method pre-selected that you can see here uh, at the top of the screen. So rate shopping will not be necessary. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and scan a ship barcode uh, to actually process the order. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So we'll go ahead and scan the ship barcode. And now the order is complete. The labels have generated, the packing lists have generated and shot out the printers automatically. And most importantly, the information has been written back into the ERP process. So that is workflow number one. Workflow number two that we're going to dive right into. Again, we're going to start off at the shipping workbench. And we're going to go ahead and, and show uh, grocery style scanning. So we're going to scan the hotkey, scan the order number, which will take you into the order itself. And then we're going to scan the uh, barcode for to open scan pack itself, scan the container. And this time, we're going to go ahead and scan a quantity barcode, which will pop up. You can either enter it on your keyboard or you can scan a barcode for the actual quantity itself, which you can see just brought over both mouses. And now we're going to scan the quantity barcode again and bring over both uh, five by five cables. And then we're just going to go ahead and throw this last item, since it's singular, uh, into a container by itself. And then we're going to go ahead and scan our way right out of scan pack, and you're, you're all packed and ready to go. As you can, can see, the weights and dimensions have populated. Again, a carrier has already been selected, so we won't need to uh, scan a rate shop barcode. We're just going to go ahead and scan the ship barcode to end the transaction and have all the labels and packing slips shoot out of the printers, which is exactly what you've just see, seen occur here. 
So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop into the last workflow. And we're going to start off and we're going to go ahead and scan that hotkey. And then we're going to go ahead and scan the order number again, which will take us right back into the uh, shipment in PasteJet. We're going to go ahead and scan the scan pack barcode to open up the screen. Now this time, you can actually set the items to be self-packaged in PasteJet. So when we go ahead and scan the next item here, you're going to see it's going to bring it over as a self-packaged item. So there is a setting in PasteJet that allows you to have items set as self-packed, which you can see what just occurred here. We, we set those uh, 5 by 5 cables and 5 by 10 cable is self-packed. So one scan brought them over as self-packed. And then we're going to go ahead and process the transaction. And since there was no uh, carrier selected here, we actually hit a rate and ship barcode this time around, which automatically chose the cheapest rate and shipped it at the same time. And now the transaction is complete and the labels have shot out. So that is the third workflow uh, for ScanPack. As you can see, there's several different flavors uh, a customer can use this for. So moving forwards, how to get uh, started with ScanPack. Simply put, uh, please reach out to me to myself uh, at the below contact information, mike.panici at pacejet.com, or you can call me directly, 614-505-7319. Also below uh, is a link to our scan pack, uh, scan pack uh, data sheet itself. Uh, and please feel free to follow us uh, on Twitter and sign up for our blogs uh, below to see upcoming uh, information regarding that. So. What I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to turn it back over to Sam uh, to do some Q&A on ScanPack itself, and then uh, we'll talk about from there our upcoming products that we'll be showing webinars on in the next month. Great. Hey, thanks, Mike. Um, <clears throat> so as I mentioned in the beginning here, um, if you do have questions about um, anything that Mike went over or any additional um, functionalities or um, pieces of ScanPack, uh, feel free to utilize that question field in the GoToWebinar interface. And uh, while I already have you over there, there is another section that's called Handouts. In there, we've got a couple of things attached for you that we thought were good um, kind of extra pieces. One of them is actually that data sheet that he mentioned through the hyperlink on the bottom of the screen. Um, then the other one is an equipment guideline sheet. Um, this kind of goes over some of the things um, that a few of you have asked questions about. So I guess we'll start there. Um, your first question today, Mike, that came through the audience, um, is what scanners work with ScanPack? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Um, any standard uh, Bluetooth uh, uh, USB uh, barcode scanners, um, you, for example, on this particular demonstration, I used a, a, a very basic Inatech uh, barcoding scanner that we bought off Amazon for about $60, roughly. Uh, so any USB Bluetooth uh, scanner would work for our scan pack module. Then what about mobile scan packing? Um, how does that work? Yeah, um, you can use a Bluetooth barcode scanner again uh, that will work with scan pack. You know, those Bluetooth scanners typically are uh, allow you to get up to about 15 to 20 feet uh, from the workstation itself. Um, so that that's that would be the mobility piece of it. Um, and then the next question that came through is, um, can we turn the sound off in the scanning process if we've got um, multiple workstations throughout um, the the um, warehouse? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it is again, it is color coded, um, so you have you have different options whether you want it on or off. I would say most customers prefer it to turn on that way it alerts you, um, but but that 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 is certainly optional. Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah, it's nice that PasteJet has um, both options in there for you, um, just so you can maybe be more visual or more sound-oriented. So really a nice feature there. 
Um, next question that we had come through is what happens if my warehouse team forgets to scan an item into its container? Will PageJet still allow me to rate and ship that um, container? Uh, yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, so we have an optional field uh, to include that will actually prohibit its shipping. So keep in mind, uh, our module is not just called scan pack, it is called scan pack validation. Uh, so we do, um, you can either allow it, the transaction to go through, or turn on the optional setting that will not allow you to rate and ship it. Uh, so yes, we, we do have that uh, uh, functionality. Um, that makes it really nice um, for people who maybe don't want that function to be on. Um, but if they do, uh, we can just turn that optional field on. Really nice feature. All right. Um, let me see if we've got any other questions in here today. It looks like um, we've got a couple that are a little more specific to uh, maybe an ERP. And what we're going to do with those is I'm going to have Mike reach out directly. Um, and go over some of those more specific ERP questions um, and how it kind of looks in that interface. So stay tuned for um, a, either email or a phone call from Mike following this um, to answer some of those uh, more ERP specific questions that came through today. Um, all right, so Mike, I'm going to turn it back over to you if you want to go ahead and tell us what's um, next on your radar for um, our webinar series this month, or yeah. I guess next. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, some exciting things uh, on the horizon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip to our What's Up Next screen. Uh, advanced compliance uh, label integration, which we have uh, recently released. The, uh, it, it's uh, long and the short of it is um, it's big news for PageJet community because those of you out there who have specific retailer compliant label needs. Uh, for example, such as uh, retailer-specific UCC labels uh, and would like to have an automated process flow of having those labels generate during shipping, uh, this solution can support you for that. Um, so yeah, more to come on this product later next month. This is uh, absolutely very exciting for PaceJet. Uh, this kind of ventures into the, the relationship between PaceJet as a shipping software and it also connects us with the EDI world. Uh, it allows us to take some uh, onus in that regards as well. So this is a very exciting integration uh, that we have, uh, that we're going to do through the uh, bartender software. So very exciting. All right, everybody. Um, we're gonna go ahead and close it off here. Um, give you a couple minutes back of your day. Um, we, we cut it down to about 25 minutes. So. Um, thank you so much for attending today. Again, um, the link for the data sheet and a little more information about ScanPack is listed below. Um, also, Mike's email address is in there. Um, he's going to be a re best resource um, when wanting to discuss ScanPack any further and, again, talk about those more ERP-specific questions and needs. Um, and, again, if you did ask those questions, he will be reaching out already um, to follow up with you. In addition to the follow-up, um, you'll also receive an email tomorrow um, with a link to the recording. Uh, this is great for any of your coworkers who maybe couldn't attend today or um, some other teammates who wanted to, um, who you need to kind of sell this to or explain this to a little better. Uh, so that'll be in your email tomorrow coming from us, us as well. Thank you every, everyone for attending today and we look forward to speaking to you soon. Have a great day. Thank you.